I know that everything isn't about my son, kindergarten junior. However, I am very blessed that he was included in this life celebration and that it's the weekend of his fourth anniversary. I came out here from Seattle, Washington. At the time, my daughter was four years old. We were uprooted and came out here and got on the battlefield and we never stopped. As the young lady said that the people in the community, the people in the community had to witness my son's murder. And there was over 150 people out there that day. My son's murder is on YouTube. And one thing I do is I allow everyone to know his murders on there. And you can go on there, watch it for yourself, and make your own informed decision. But they made my son lay on the ground for over 28 minutes to bleed out and die. That's why we have to pay attention to the people's community medics because they started out because they found out nothing was done to save Oscar Grant. So just the fact that I could come here and I get so much love and support, I have to explain to the people I was born to that love makes you related, loyalty makes you family, and my family is here. I might be from Seattle, we might share the same bloodline, but my family is here. The people who support me are here. The people who dry my tears are here. The people who keep me held up with their strong shoulders are here. And I want to take this time to let you know how much I appreciate and love you all. And the Kenneth Harding Jr. Foundation, every year we set out goals. Last year our goal was to bring black and brown together. And through Al Osario, we was able to bridge that gap. I'm lucky that I'm a visionary, and I see things that I want to happen, and I don't stop. I keep going forward. They told us for two years in a row we couldn't have a mini shutdown for Kenny's anniversary. For two years in a row, we shut the mini down for yeah. Kenny's anniversary. Yeah. So I want and here and let everyone know, be encouraged. Um, I spoke with KD the other day and she was distraught because she's like, where's the people? I'm like, honey, don't you know them cameras are gone? This is your reality. This is something that we have to deal with. We have to go to sleep with this. We have to wake up with this. This is our reality. And I had to say, at the end of the day, if you could still go back home to yours, don't judge us who lost ours, because we don't know what we're feeling from minute to minute. I came here, I was filled with joy. And then, because of the pastor blessing me with some information, because of my son's death, pastors in Chicago, along with community members, along with Fred Hampton Jr. and his wife, they put together the Harding Institute in Libya. Yeah. So for me to be able to see that something good came out of this, all of this, it's not saying that I'm not fighting no more. As long as my son's blood is on these streets, guess where I'll be? So I just want to hold up a mirror to all of you because I didn't know if I was going right, left, if I needed to lay down, if I needed to use the bathroom, I was frozen. But God surrounded me with nothing but men of the cloth, so no one had any room to get in, infiltrate, um, try to bring me down because I was already down. And I could stand here in front of you today because of all the work that we have put forward with them feeding the community for over three years, clothing the community over three years, um, coat drives for over three years, Hunters Point community knows everything that we've done for that community. And it's because they have to sit there and endure 
my son's brutal murder and watch it. And no one ever came back to see about the people in the community or the children who were playing on the playgrounds that day. And that's how the community feat started. And I might be gone for right now, and it's only because I'm healing. I've had 11 surgeries within 20 months, but I stand before you. I don't have a boot on my leg no more. I'm walking, I'm talking, and I'm here. And I just want to say God bless you all, and thank you for standing with me. Thank you.